Hello, welcome back to the queue. I wasn't planning on doing a solo game quite so soon, but I've got this awesome BBR map on the table here that Lieutenant Dan uh, customized, you know, with all the battles and the ships and where they were sunk and the naval battles and all that kind of thing. And it's a pretty big map. It pretty much fills my table here. So it's, it's the biggest map that I, that I currently have. And I thought, well, I'd like to play a BBR game and Moffat Field uh, in a chat that we're in uh, dropped this file which is a setup for 1939 and he suggested playing it you know on the B with the BBR rules and to see how that goes and of course that made me think maybe that's what I need to do right now uh, we'll use a house rule setup for 1939 on the BBR map and we'll go ahead and use the BBR uh, victory conditions so we'll add a turn so instead of 12 victory conditions at the end of round 8 it'll be 12 at the end of round 9 uh, because all the Axis powers are going to be starting you know with a little smaller territory so giving them that extra time you know to get to the victory objectives and the 39 setup that, that he's put out in this, it's about eight or nine pages, and it's kind of done up in the, the BBR manual kind of look to it. But the setup he pulled off of uh, accessandallies.org, uh, Charles de Gaulle, uh, he has a setup that I think uh, he did a couple years ago, and he's kind of been tweaking it, you know, since then, and, and it's a setup, uh, it has some specific rule changes. Uh, based off the political situation as it would be a little different in 1939 uh, you know Poland hasn't been invaded yet so there's there's a lot there's some extra neutrals on there uh, speaking of neutrals he did do something that's quite interesting that I thought you know in a normal out-of-box global 40 game the neutrals uh, are what they call a strict neutral so if the US comes over here and lands in Spain all the other neutrals jump to the Axis side. Uh, kind of, I guess it's a game balancing notion because it's not real in any way, shape, or form. But what he's done is he's taken blocks where like the South American neutrals are all like one block. So if one of them is attacked, then the opposite side, you know, will receive those countries as you know pro-axis or pro-allied however that looks um, so there's a block there there's a block in Europe there's I think there's a block in the Middle East and of course Mongolia stays the same you know same rules for Mongolia so we use that uh, on axis and allies.org the, there's another uh, 1939 setup too uh, Oz T uh, he's He's had a 41, a 42, and I think a 39 setup on there. And those setups, if, if you're familiar with AAA uh, on, the, on the computer, that software program, you can download these setups as well, as well as uh, the Charles de Gaulle setup. And you can you know, play around on there. And, and I've done that with, with all these setups, just to kind of see you know, what they look like, how they play you know, a little bit. Um, and it's pretty fun. I, I enjoy tinkering around like that. So we'll use the BBR map, uh, the BBR rules, victory conditions, uh, the 39 setup for Charles de Gaulle. Uh, the other thing I want to bring in, uh, some more anti-aircraft rules. I want to use the mobile anti-aircraft. So I use these units um, for mobile anti-aircraft, so they move to same rules, you know, apply. Uh, you kind of have to use the attack defend rule as well. So the anti-aircraft guns get to attack as well as defend. Otherwise, you know, the, the mobility purpose is kind of diminished a little bit. So I'll use those units. Um, I've got some different uh, markers for resources and the oil derricks for the oil territories so those will be marked a little clearer and you know just so you if you're looking at the game you can say oh that's part of that victory condition you know and uh, we'll do that the research uh, we just did some uh, house rule research 
video and we'll use the BBR research and we'll walk through that whole step so you can see that process because if you're watching the YouTube uh, videos, uh, the YouTube wars, you kind of get to see a little glimpse uh, of how the research works, but uh, we'll look at it a little bit more you know, in depth on, on each turn. And then the other thing too is I'm going to add some extra research uh, in there so of the BBR. So typically you would only have you know five researches uh, research items you know in a BBR game, but I'm going to throw in some more you know different ones from the set so that we can kind of see how the different ones work. Um, you know maybe you can make a better decision on what you would want to use you know when you're playing the BBR. And the last thing, I ordered this off eBay for $14, and it's a Risk set, I think it's 2008, and the game itself, uh, one of the things I've seen on other uh, videos, comes with these pieces, and you look on the picture, you know, picture, you've got all these arrows, you know, which I thought, you know, for marking out, instead of just placing chips and and stuff where you want to do, you can use these arrows, you know, while you're filming, it's going to give you a little bit better idea of what's going on, uh, I think. I mean, I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, for $14, how can you go wrong? And then, of course, there's these big cities uh, that with the factories on there, you can see that. Um, I think I'll use those, you know, for the majors. I've seen some people using that for the major industrial complexes. Uh, so we'll, we'll give that a shot. That that should be interesting to see how that goes as well. And then on the flip side, if I decide to, to try this new wrist version, I've got all the pieces I need to do that too. But that would be another day. So we'll get that going and see how that works out. I mean, it's better to test it on something like this than you know get in, actually involved in a YouTube Wars game and and start trying to use this and it's not working and then it's like oh, okay now I gotta change gears in the middle of the game so we'll do that and let's take a look at what the setup looks like on the board but right now it's blank so we'll be right back with the setup so let's take a look at the setup Charles de Gaulle variant 1939 set up on the BBR map with some adjustments by Moffett Field uh, to make it uh, apparently useful for the BBR. As you can see the South America Alliance, uh, neutral alliance in blue there. And we'll go up to the US looking pretty thin, Canada. And if you'll notice Greenland and Iceland are not uh, US or British. They are still with, uh, I believe, Denmark and Holland. Um, although they might have both been Denmark, I'm not sure. Now that I say that, you've got the orange is the Swiss Switzerland or Swiss Sweden alliance. Uh, the third alliance here is the Iberian Peninsula. They are represented by the yellow neutrals, who also have a couple down here in Africa. And the fourth alliance, uh, neutral alliance block, is that light gray and is the Islamic alliance, uh, but represented by those three countries there. But if you look at the rest of the map, you can see the French have a, a little bitter, bitter, a little bigger navy. Uh, the British, uh, not quite as much navy, I don't think, although it is spread out a little better. Uh, the Germans um, actually have, what, the same subs, cruiser, battleships, so they really have one transport and one destroyer more. But if you look at their country, it's just those three countries of Germany. Uh, or three territories of Germany, I should say. You've got Pro Axis, Slovakia, Hungary, and Romania, in addition to Bulgaria and then Finland on the top. Yugoslavia and Greece are the same. Italy will start the game neutral, so they're going to get a turn to consolidate that navy to prevent the. Uh, Toronto type uh, attack. 
And if you notice, in Rome is the major IC and the minors in northern Italy, which kind of makes more sense, you know, than the way uh, the other games have it set up, you know, Global 40 and BBR and all that. Italy kind of has a stronger presence, uh, certainly in the horn there, uh, with a few extra units. Uh, Britain does have a few extra units as well. More spread out though. Uh, Russia is pretty thin, but they do start out with 35 IPCs and Germany starts out with 14. So Germany's got to gain a lot of territories to gain some ground. So Russia will have its uh, hands full of, you know, filling its front lines, but they'll, they'll have a, a huge jump on Germany for a couple of turns. China is in better shape. Uh, they have more of their country, but they also have uh, a lot more troops, a couple artillery, you know, the, the traditional three cal cavalry for uh, BBR setup. UK Pacific. Well, it's not UK Pacific. It's all Britain. Uh, they're they're part. There's no UK Pacific in the BBR. Britain is all one. So they start off with 30. Let me look over there. 37. So they are the leading uh, nation as far as IPCs. And I will explain that here in a minute. Anzac. Nothing exciting there. Japan kind of has the same navy. They're just kind of spread out in different areas of the board. Um, the Air Force, I think, is a little less. I didn't count the planes. Um, it might be similar now that I'm looking at it. Uh, there's, I think there's one TAC and one fighter that would be in Shanghai there that is not in this setup. So two less planes, no big deal. And the U.S., uh, Navy is uh, slightly smaller, but we'll address that here shortly. So as you can see, here's your starting setup for the IPCs for the nations, and I've got this orange chip on the U.S. because they start off at 25 on turn one, and then they go up by 10 on and then up by another 10 until they get to 52 or they're brought in the war and then of course they'll get their full NOs so the US is slow to start building um, you know the first couple rounds till they get uh, those IPCs up so it kinda keeps them from stacking up to come in right off the bat um, not sure if I agree with you know how low they start you know maybe you would start a little lower on the 39 turn but then you know on the 1940 as soon as that gets here maybe it ramps up a little faster I don't know but we'll play it see how it goes and to the top there we can see all the research uh, you know normally when you're doing the research you're playing other people you know you would turn those over and they would be hidden to the enemy team but I am the enemy team so it doesn't matter we're gonna use all the research to, so you can see how all the research works because typically you, you'd only see five you know in a game so you wouldn't see the whole the, the full complement of research that the BBR has so we're gonna start off with two active for the axis super subs and improved transports uh, the subs for Germany, the transports for Japan. On the Allied side, we're going to start off with heavy tanks for Russia, improve shipyards for the U.S., and that will help them get their navy up to speed. Uh, and then Britain will start with the super battleships. And then they're going to be on the build, and we'll, we'll walk through these phases and roll those out as they normally would so you can see how the BBR technology works um, you know Germany, Japan, Russia, US and Britain they'll all roll for these five uh, technologies uh, in a normal fashion and we're gonna give 
Italy and Anzac these jet fighters but it's not going to Italy doesn't get jet fighters until Germany's uh, two research are active and Anzac will be the same with Britain so once Britain and Germany get the two active researches then the jet fighters will come over and that's just because all the other research was on all the other countries and the only one we didn't use was the jet fighters so I thought well let's let's give Italy and Anzac something they never get and that's research and like I said this this is just you know me messing around doing you know a house rule to get all of those researches active in an eight turn game if we weren't doing limited turns then you could have multiple you know you would have multiple uh, opportunities to get uh, research going but uh, we'll do that and let me think if I can think of anything else uh, going on here um, just as a recap we're gonna use mobile anti-aircraft guns so I've replaced some of the anti-aircraft guns with mobile units that you can see right there. Of course that black one's really hard to see. Um, the gray one up here that I have the Russian chip on. So there was two, two anti-aircraft guns in the start, or the setup I mean, for Leningrad. So I, I played one of them mobile. We'll use the anti-aircraft guns in the attack and defense mode. The other obvious setup, or, re, or uh, not setup, the uh, house rule is the setup being the 1930 uh, setup, 1939 setup. I'm really messing, uh, messing up there. And I think that is it. We'll, we'll do the research and you can see every step because like I said before, you, you don't normally see how the research works on the uh, YouTube wars but we'll uh, we'll look at that and, and do that and and you'll see the step-by-step -step on how it works in addition to the research that's already on the board uh, for the countries and then that way like I said earlier you'll be able to see how each research item uh, works within uh, the BBR game so hopefully we'll get to see a lot here we'll do nine turns at the end of nine turns, uh, if the Axis have 12 victory points, then they win. Otherwise, the Allies will be victorious. And the next video will we'll start with uh, Germany on turn one.